On President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session. The the floor is now given to the co-prosecutors to resume the questioning to this witness. You may now proceed. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Continuing from what I asked you before the break time, uh, did you know where those people were arrested to? Answer. They were arrested and placed in Otrakun Pagoda. Question concerning Otrakun Pagoda. Question. What was Otrakun used for at that time? Et Why people were brought into that pagoda? Des gens dans cette pagoda? Answer. After the arrival Réponse. of Southwest Academy, Old Rokun Pagoda was turned into a security center. Question: Where was the location of the of that pagoda? In what district, village, and commune was the pagoda situated? Par rapport au district ou au village. Dans quel district et dans quel village se trouvait la Pagoda was located in Sambu Mia village, Pimchi Kong commune, Kong Mia district. district Kong Mias, Question. How far uh, was it uh, from uh, Saxo village to that pagoda? Au village de Saxo, quelle distance séparait la pagode du village? Answer. It was about, you know, uh, over one kilometer. Il y avait un peu plus d'un kilomètre. Co-prosecutor, you said Co that Pagoda was turned into a security center after the arrival of Southwest Academy. When did uh, that Pagoda become uh, the security center? Answer. In late 1977 and early 1977. Question. Question. I wanted to know. Je uh, what uh, was the security cent Le center centre uh, use? I mean, uh, what kind of uh, what kind of people were brought into the security center? Answer: I do not know. I noticed that people were sent from uh, different places into that security center. Question. Question. Concerning the people who were arrested and sent to that Otrakun Pagoda, why uh, were people sent into that uh, Otrakun Pagoda? Answer. They were sent into the Pagoda for, to be killed. Question. How do you know? Question. Why did you say these people were sent into the pagoda to be killed? Answer. Those who were brought into that pagoda would never return.
question. How far Question. were you from uh, uh, Otokun Pagoda to your house? À quelle distance se trouvait votre maison de la pagode de Otokun? Answer: The distance from my house Réponse. to Otokun Pagoda la was about 200 meters away. De la pagode. Question. Question. Did you know about the incidents happening in that Otokun Pagoda? You made mention a while ago that uh, people were brought into Otokun uh, Pagoda to be killed. So how do you know that? Answer. Whenever they wanted to kill people, they would uh, bring in people bring people into the pagoda and, and the loud pagode. music uh, would be played. Alors, on diffusait par haut-parleur de la musique à fort volume. Question, did you hear the loud music uh, Question. being played Et over the loudspeaker very often? Par haut-parleur fréquemment? Answer. After I returned from work at night time, Réponse. I Lorsque je would suis hear travail, the loud music soir, being played over the loudspeaker once in every three, four, or five days. Je l'entendais une fois tous les trois, quatre ou cinq jours. Question. Question. From what time, until what time, did you hear the loud music being played over the loudspeaker? Answer: so The loud music, uh, most réponse. of the time, la was played temps, from 10 p.m. until night time. Question: Do you mean that the loud music uh, would? Uh, be played from 10 p.m. Vous voulez donc dire que la musique était diffusée à partir de 10 heures? Answer: Yes, that Réponse. is true. Oui, c'est exact. Question: uh, What time uh, did uh, they stop uh, playing the loud music? À quel moment ont-ils cessé Answer: uh, The music uh, would be played uh, for Réponse. one or two hours. La musique était diffusée pendant une à deux heures. Question. question. Besides the loud music from the loudspeaker, did you hear any other sound? Answer. Sometime while I was at home, réponse. I would Parfois, hear uh, the, you know, the sound of, for help. Des cris à l'aide. Question. Could you describe it? Whether the sound uh, was from male or female, and how how uh, was the sound? Et à quoi ressemblait ce cri qui demandait à l'aide? Answer: I heard the sound of Réponse. help uh, sometimes, and I could not uh, tell you whether the sound uh, was from male or female, because my house was located si a bit away from uh, the pagoda. Question. Did you hear the sounds for help uh, simultaneously with uh, the loud music? Answer. I would hear the screaming for help Réponse, during the time that the loud music was being played. Question. Regarding the people who were arrested from Saxo village. Uh, how did you know that uh, those people were Saxo, from a uh, Saxo village? Answer. The kitchen where I was staying is uh, was opposite uh, the gate of the pagoda, so I could see uh, that uh, those people were brought uh, through the gates of the pagoda. Question. 
on the day that Question. you saw the people who had been arrested and brought le into the pagoda, did you hear the loud music? Que vous avez entendu Answer. Ce aussi they played the mu la loud music on that night. Oui, cette nuit -là, ils ont de la Question. After those people were Question. arrested from Saxo village and brought into Après the compound of the Pagoda, did you hear the loud music uh, being played la on that night? Pendant cette même nuit-là, de la musique. Answer. Y, y, the loud music was uh, being played Réponse. on, on that night on after they arrested uh, those people. Après l'arrestation de ces personnes, de la musique. I, a while ago, asked you the general question in relation to the security center. Now I am focusing on the day that the Saxo villagers were arrested. On that day, how long did jour? they play the Pendant loud music? And uh, I told you already that the music uh, was uh, being played for one or two hours. Question: Did you ever Question. enter the compound of the pagoda? De la pagoda? Mm -hmm. Answer: I did not dare to stay close to the pagoda. Je no one uh, uh, pagoda. was courageous, courageous enough to stay close to the compound of the pagoda. pagoda. Question. Was there any ban Question. not to allow people entering into the pagoda, or did you yourself feel afraid not to enter into the pagoda? Answer: I did not dare to stay close to the compound since I was simply a worker in the cooperative. Question. Question. How long did the security center operation last for? Et pendant combien de temps le centre de sécurité a été en exploitation? The security center was Réponse. not in operation after 1979. Question: Did you know the name? Do you know the name utilisé? of the chief of that security center? Connaissez-vous le nom du chef de ce centre de sécurité? Answer. Réponse. During that time, I did not know the name of the security center chief, but I heard the horn was chief. Question. Did that individual horn become a security center chief until the end of the regime, or was someone, did someone else replace his position? Answer. After Réponse. the Southwest uh, cadres came to my area, Horn was appointed to be Horn security chief until the end of the regime. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. Procureur. President. Merci I would Monsieur like Président. now to hand over the floor to my esteemed international colleague, President. Ah, you may now proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council. And good morning to the general public. And uh, good morning to you, uh, Mr. Witness. <coughs> Mr. President, I'd like to show the witness a map of the area that, uh, that he lived in. And I would ask that uh, we place on the screen E3-9145. Your Honours, it's a map that was made in 1993 of the uh, electoral areas um, in uh, Kang Mias, and it's an excerpt from that map, and it's enlarged so that uh, it's easier for the, for the witness perhaps to be able to see. And the only changes are that um, the Khmer names have been added because it was only in English, and there's been some highlight um, placed on the, on the map. 
And I would ask if the, uh, the court clerk could uh, hand this map to the witness as well. Uh, it might be easier for him to see uh, off, off the screen. President, you can do so. If I can ask that the map be placed uh, on the uh, on our screens. President, you may proceed. Um, I believe it should be on the screen now. Mr. Witness, if we uh, if we look at this map, it is a map of uh, the area of uh, Pim Chikang commune, and it identifies the the village that you uh, resided in. Sambomias A, village A, and also it identifies Saksa, the other village that you stayed in, and uh, other surrounding villages. If you have a look at that map, does it, does it seem fairly accurate to how villages were placed near each other uh, where you live? Exact. But the um, answer is yes, it is accurate. Réponse, oui, exact. And perhaps if we look at that map, and if it could go on the screen Question. again, please. Si um, peut la carte à if we look at um, nouveau, vous plaît. Denmark. Uh, Sne. Si vous le it's hard to read Danemark, the uh, the English, si but um, we believe that's the place. How far is Damnak Sne from uh, Saksa? About how many kilometers? It was about over one kilometer away from Damnatswai to Saxo village. And you said during the, the democratic Kampuchea period, I think you said early you lived in Sambo Mies village A, and then you moved to Saksa and lived there for a while. Is that correct? Answer, yes, that is correct. And then during the democratic Kampuchea period, Question after you lived at Saksa, well, did you stay there until 1979, or did you move back to your house in Sambo Mias A? But in late 1976 or 1977, I was allowed to go back and live in some Bumi A village in a cooperative. Thank you. And you stayed there till uh, the Pol Pot regime fell, is that correct? Until the Vietnamese came in 1979. But answer yes, that is true. Réponse, c'est exact. So, from when the, the Khmer Question. Rouge first arrived in your area before Donc, Democratic Kampuchea until 
the Khmer Rouge uh, were defeated in 1979. You only stayed in two houses, is that correct? One at Sambas Mies Village A and one at Saksa. Answer, yes. And you answered this question, but is the village of Saksa and the village of Sambos Mears A, do they join each other or do they separate by vacant land? And I'm talking back in, nine, in the democratic Kampuchea period. It joined uh, one another. And if we look at Sambo Mies village B, how far away is that from uh, village A? It is not that far. Actually, it is uh, simply a series of uh, villages adjacent uh, to one another. And if I could ask the audiovisual to uh, place the map on the screen uh, as, as we discuss this, please. Um, so from the, the centre of uh, Sambor Mir's uh, village B to the centre of Sambor uh, Mir village A, about how many kilometres would that be from each other, even though they joined, but from the centre of both villages? If you think uh, of the, uh, the the distance, it is difficult. But in fact, uh, these two villages uh, border each other, and the 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 bordering line is about 500 uh, meters. Thank you. So from. Do you also see the, um, the border of the sub-district of Ankaban and the border of that sub-district to um, the village of PM Chikang? How far is that? About how many kilometres? From uh, PM Chikong to Angkoban, the linkage uh, by means of a uh, border demarcation is demarcation is about uh, one kilometer. Thank you. And it's not clear when we look at this map, but the villages of San Bosmias, um, Saksa, they're all on the Mekong River. That's correct. You see the Mekong River right next to those villages. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, they are situated along the river. Thank you. And if we look at the map again, if we look at Sambos Mears A, your village, I think you said uh, what Otrakon Pagoda was in that village. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Oui. And then if we look at the village of uh, Damnak uh, uh, Snei, that's, that's in Pim Chikang sub-district, is that correct?
Yes, it is located in BMT Gong commune. Fictive. And then, then if we look at uh, the village of Rocca Roy, which is um, further east of Saxar, that's, that's in a different commune, a different sub-district, is that correct? No, it Je is uh, different. Non, c'est différent. So, Question. when you were uh, working as a commune militia, Quand vous étiez militia de commune, is it fair to say that uh, you would work between Sambos, Mia B, and de à de the Pim Chikang village? B along that road and in that general area? Was that where you did your militia duties? Yes, it was. And did you have a motorbike? Were you able to move around the different villages? with some form, form of transport when you were a militia? No, uh, the means uh, of uh, going anywhere for us is uh, by foot or on foot. There was no uh, bicycle. So, uh, would it be fair to say that your militia duties um, had you travel, traveling distances of about four kilometers or, sorry, about one kilometer from Angkor Ban to Pim Chikang? Well, how far is the border of Angkor Ban to Pim Chikang. You may have answered that question, but if you can ask, answer it again, please. Yes, it is fair to say that the militia duty was to go from Angkor Ban to Pim Chikang to Pim Chikang. Thank you. And you said that when you were living in Sambomir's village A, the pagoda was about 200 meters from your house. Is that right? The Sambomir A, the pagoda was very close. Yes, that is correct. That's exact. Thank you. Um, just while we're looking at the map, one last moment. Um, can you tell the court where the Pim Stadium is? Is there a stadium in Pim, in Pim Chikang? In Pim Chikong, there is a PM stadium. In fact, if you cross a, a, a creek from the Pim Chikong side to the other village, then the, you will see the PM stadium. And the PM stadium has been built uh, from since the old regime. And was that a, a football stadium, a soccer stadium? What type of stadium was it? Quel type de stade s'agissait-il Réponse. It was a football stadium since the old regime. Qui remonte à la. Bon, la construction remonte à l'ancien régime. And just so we're clear, how far is the stadium from your home village, Sambosmir's village A? Village natal, Sambosmir.
the distance uh, from PM Stadium to Sambu Mihe village is about 1.5 uh, kilometers. Thank you. Um, perhaps we've we've finished with the map now. Merci. Thank you for helping us uh, with the geography of your area. And I'd like to ask you a few questions about the meeting you went to at uh, Damna um, Snay. You mentioned that you meant, went to that meeting and you had a discussion, the villagers were invited there and also the district uh, secretary was there. Where he asked uh, the villagers to respect Ankar, to work hard. Do you remember that meeting? Yes, I do. Oui, je m'en souviens. And you, you mentioned that Khan uh, chaired the meeting, and he was from the, the southwest side. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. Oui, exact. Um, but Khan had become the uh, district secre secretary Khan for Kang Mias. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Do you uh, remember going to another meeting, or well, maybe it's, maybe we're talking about the same one? Do you remember going to a meeting at PM Stadium in early 1977? I cannot recall that, and in fact, I did not attend uh, en fait, the meeting in 1977. During the democratic Kampuchea period, um, did you attend a meeting with um, the sector committee secretary, Arn, the sector 41, and the district committee secretary, did you ever attend a meeting with both of those people there? Avez-vous assisté à une réunion où ces deux personnes étaient présentes? I did not attend uh, the meeting that you non, said because once I had been reassigned to live and work at the cooperative, I did not attend uh, that kind of a meeting. Did you ever hear of a meeting at PM Stadium Donc, from other people? Parler de réunion au stade de PM, de la bouche d'autres personnes. No, I did not. Uh, I focused on the work that I was assigned to do, and we were not allowed to make any contact crossing villages. Such a contact was uh, fully banned during the regime. Thank you. If I can just read back to you um, a statement, the statements you made to the investigator from the ECC, and that's E3 slash 9346, English 0023-5508, Khmer 0023-5016, and French 0028-3948. And you were asked this question by the investigator a few years ago. Did anyone explain why they arrested the people? You answered no, but in early 1977, they held a meeting at the PM Stadium. All the villagers had to attend. The sector committee, Arn, and the district committee, Khan, convened the meeting and told us to work harder for Ankar. Then, 
They said that there were enemies among the people. After that meeting, Après the arrest réunion, accelerated both day and night. Se sont jour et so that's the answer that's been recorded Donc, voilà la réponse of you telling the investigator. Does that refresh your memory to a meeting um, at the Peem Stadium or any other meeting where the Sector Secretary Arne was present? À laquelle avait participé le secrétaire de secteur Han. I Réponse. attended uh, the meeting amongst uh, all the villagers, men and women. Tous les villageois étaient là, des hommes, des femmes. And uh, Khan, the chief, uh, actually Khan, called chef, all the unit chiefs uh, 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 to attend unité. that uh, meeting as well. As for Anne, the uh, sector chief, chef de sector. I am not fully sure if I can recall that information Je correctly. Ne suis pas certain de bien me souvenir, uh, si Thank you. And you gave this statement in 2008. Is that correct? Votre position était en 2008, n'est-ce pas? Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Well, perhaps if I can ask you about um, when you said. Um, that at that meeting, or at the meeting that you went to, um, there were enemies among the people. Do you remember going to a meeting with Khan where that was said, that there were enemies among the people? Yes, uh, that was uh, said. Ah, oui. Je l'ai entendu. And did Khan say who the enemies were? Khan a-t-il dit qui étaient ses ennemis? Réponse. No, he did not. No. He only referred uh, to the so-called enemy, yeah, and later on people had been ennemis. arrested successively. Et par la suite, il y a eu des arrestations. During uh, the Democratic Campuchia period in your area, did you ever see uh, Sector Secretary Ahn? Avez-vous jamais vu le secrétaire de secteur Ahn? Since that meeting, I did not uh, see Ant anymore. However, I saw Kant uh, rather regularly, who was the district chief at the time. Just to be clear, um, a moment ago you said you weren't sure whether Ahn was at the meeting, and then you just said that after this meeting, I didn't see Ahn anymore. Do you remember seeing Ahn, the secretary of the sector, at that meeting? There were many people attending the meeting, Il y avait de gens à la and I cannot uh, recall everyone. The only a person that I actually Le remember well uh, was Khan, who actually made an opening speech Khan for Khan the uh, meeting. And I myself réunion. was uh, rather afraid uh, at the time. Uh, where did uh, District Secretary Khan come from? D'où venait le secrétaire de, sec de district Khan? Please uh, repeat your question. Uh, réponse. Uh, veuillez répéter la question, je vous prie. Was Secretary question. Khan originally 
from Kangmias district or did he come from somewhere else? People said uh, he came from the southwest. Everybody said that, and I did not know uh, from which part of the southwest uh, he came. You said this meeting was held in early 1977. Um, how much earlier had Khan taken up the position as district secretary? Combien de temps auparavant Khan avait-il assumé les fonctions de secrétaire de, sec de district? I cannot remember the specific period uh, of the year. We saw Je them all came probably around late 76 or early 77. And when you say that they all came, are you talking about cadres from the south west zone? Yes, that's what I meant. And when those cadre came to Kangmir's district, did they start taking up positions, positions of authority in the district? Yes, they took uh, authority uh, in the area, in the district. And what happened to the people that were in positions of authority? Say, for example, what happened to the district secretary of Kang Mears, um and other people in positions of authority? What happened to them when the southwest zone cadre came? I am uh, not really sure about this point. However, the former cadres had been arrested and killed. All of them. How do you know that? Because those for former cadres uh, disappeared, okay, and uh, during the regime, everybody uh, understood Sous that uh, disappearance meant death. Just going back to um, where you were living uh, during the period, you said you lived in Saxal and you also lived in Sambor Mias uh, A. How long did you live in Saxal village during that, say, three, three years and eight months from 1975 to 1979? How long did you live in Saxal? Combien de temps avez-vous passé à Saxal? I lived in uh, Saxal village. Réponse. J'ai vécu dans le village de Saxal. Intermittently. De, uh, for instance, in 1976, I lived there, but then exemple, I habité, was sent to work uh, elsewhere, to work in the rice field. And I was assigned uh, uh, to be a member of the uh, militia to guard uh, the village in Saxo in around mid-1976. But was your, was your primary place of residence, the place where you lived the most, was that in Sambos Mias um, Village A? Was that where you lived most of the time? Or was it Saksa? 
with a successful. I spend most of my time uh, living in Sambomi A. J'ai passé la majeure partie de mon temps dans le village de Sambomi A. So, did you live in Saxa for one or two months, for three months, or one year? About how long? During democratic Kampuchea. Toujours sous la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Sometimes I stayed for a fortnight in Saxo, then I returned to uh, my house for one or two nights, then I returned uh, back, then I, go, I went back to Saxo. You said um, after, the, after the meeting with uh, Secretary, District Secretary Khan that the in your statement, you said the arrests accelerated both night and day. Can you explain where those arrests were happening and, and how you knew that arrests accelerated night and day after that meeting in 1997, 1977? When I returned from my uh, work and while I was having uh, my crew, I saw people being uh, transported or, or walked, including young children. However, I saw uh, the event uh, from a distance and I did not know where those uh, people had been taken from. I'm, I'm not referring now to that um, that day that you saw Cham being arrested from Saxar village. I'm not referring to that day. I'm referring to more generally. You said that uh, the arrest accelerated both night and day. How did you know that? Was it because uh, you lived opposite the pagoda and you could see people being taken in there night and day after 1977? Or is it, can you explain how you know that this was happening so much? I said uh, I saw what happened. And that happened after I returned from uh, working in the field. Je vu quand je I was champs. busy uh, working during the daytime, journée, and usually when I returned uh, to général, back to the cooperative, I had to have my gruel, and then I returned to Waterville again. And what I stated in that statement is of what I saw from a distance. Dans cette déclaration, c'est ce dont j'étais témoin, mais de loin. Okay, um, but I'm not talking about that day. That you saw Cham being taken to the pagoda. I'm not talking about that day. I'm talking about your statement when you said that after the meeting in early 1977 with Khan, that you said the meetings, the arrests accelerated both night and day. How did you know that? Was it because your house? was next to the pagoda and you could see people going in daily, nightly, or, or any other way, if you can, if you can tell us. Please. I saw the events with my own eyes. 
Or the témoins people directs could see it. de cela. D'autres personnes ont pu le voir aussi. Sometimes during the meal time, des fois, pendant le repas, while we were having group, midi, we saw those people soupe being soupe de transported. On que des gens étaient transportés. And I could see young children, Je I could see pregnant enfants, women, they were all taken into the Ils pagoda. And surely, if such event uh, was happening during the daytime, at night time, loudspeaker uh, would be played. Le soir, on entendait oh. de la musique diffusée par haut-parleur. President, thank you, Mr. Bonsoir. Deputy Co-Prosecutor and uh, Witness. It is now appropriate for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30. And we would like to... Uh, informed the co-prosecutors and lead co-lawyers for civil parties that the remaining time for you for the afternoon session is 40 minutes. Court officer, please assist the witness during the lunch break and invite him back into the court room at 1.30. And security personnel, you are to take a kiss and point to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceeding this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.